Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I have some more curly hair products to review for you guys. But once again, not only am I going to review them, so are you. So I put another little question box on my Instagram, on my Instagram story, if you guys aren't following me, follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee, where I asked you what you thought of these products. So I'm gonna be including your comments in this video. The products that we're going to be reviewing today are Flora and Curl. Flora and Curl has been around for a while now, but they just recently got into Ulta, so congratulations on a new business getting into such a major store. They're also a black UK owned brand, so that's also really cool. Another favorite thing that I like about it is that it's a botanical hair care line, so they have really, really, really natural ingredients. I'm talking no synthetic fragrances, no colors, dyes, mineral oil, parabens, silicone, sulfates. It's made of cold pressed plant oils, fruits, vegetables, flowers, and herbs, like natural. They're so natural that at first these products did not work for me and I had zero interest in ever using them again. So with that initial launch, I personally wasn't impressed. They didn't really work for me. They're not products I would normally use and I did not like the smell, but they have come out with new products that I'm going to be reviewing today because I had a better experience with these. And I'm gonna be including your comments as well. So let's see what both you and I have to say about these products. So I'm gonna be trying out four of their products today, including the Flora and Curl Protect Me African Citrus Bloom Super Fruit Shampoo. I also got the Flora and Curl Hydrate Me Organic Rose and Honey Cream Conditioner. And then to style my hair, I have the Organic Rose Honey Leave-In Detangler. And I'm gonna end it off with the Sweet Hibiscus Curl Defining Gel. So before we get started, let me tell you a little bit more about the products. All of these bottles are 10 fluid ounces, so it's like an average size bottle. But as we should know, by now with good ingredients comes high prices. So let me go to the Ulta website and let's see how much all these things cost. The defining gel is $19. Super fruit shampoo is $17. The cream conditioner is $24. And the leave-in detangler is $22. So it's not like crazy expensive, but these aren't drugstore prices, especially because you're not getting drugstore ingredients. So let's start off with the shampoo in the shower. This is the Flora and Curl Protect Me African Citrus Bloom Super Fruit Shampoo. This is the only product out of the four that I'm going to review today that actually smells good. I mean, it smells like the African Citrus Bloom on the title. So because of the citrus, you smell that orange. So it smells like orange. It's very lightweight, very liquidy. So once I lathered it on my scalp, then I rinsed it out and then went to the conditioner. This is the Flora and Curl Organic Rose and Honey Cream Conditioner. Let's give the conditioner a nice little whiff. Oh, no. I don't know what this smells like, but I don't like it. It kind of smells like toothpaste. I'm getting a dental vibe like a weird orthodontist toothpaste. But apparently I'm not alone. So let me now read some of the comments that you guys had about the smell of Flora and Curl. These products are fine, but I don't like the smell. Gave my curls great definition, but does not smell pleasant. Hate the smell. Subpar results used only once and now in the product graveyard. You never wanna be in the product graveyard. Love it, but the smell is a bit too strong. I like the leave-in conditioner, but the smell isn't too great. Love it, the smell is just heart emoji. Mm -hmm. Teach his own. The smell is not my favorite, but they got the job done. Good thing the heavy floral smell goes away. I feel the same way. So it's not that they smell like, like a bad scent. It's just a weird plant smell. But hey, don't base things off of just sense because if we all like the same smell we'd all be wearing the same perfume and now it's time to try the conditioner i applied a couple pumps to each side smoothed it in and noticed a struggle i was not able to detangle with this conditioner it didn't really have any slip and it made me just want to use more and more and more and that's not what you want from a product that isn't cheap you can't just go ham on your pumps so 
I eventually gave up because I read on the back of the bottle that it says that you're supposed to place it in a shower cap and leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it out thoroughly. And because I knew that I had a leave-in detangler to try, I decided not to continue to detangle and just let it sit in my hair under a shower cap. So after I got the shower, I decided to put on my makeup, let it sit in my hair for probably more than 15 minutes to see if it kind of loosened up my curls. So now that I'm out the shower, I actually have the conditioner still in my hair. I wanted to see if it was gonna be easier to detangle once I let it sit. So let's just try to do some little finger detangling. Okay, much better. So, it's better. I still prefer to have a conditioner that has good slip, like instantly, but, oh God. <laughs> I'm still not exactly blown away. But I'm actually gonna stop because they do have a leave-in detangler, so I wanna see how well this detangles. So I'm gonna rinse out this conditioner, then put in the leave-in conditioner and detangle with that. Alrighty, let's see, this is, mm. What is this smell? It's like a weird gum smell. I don't know, it's like a weird candy, like Pez. You guys comment, let me know what this smells like. It's so weird. It's like sweet, but I don't know. So let's see if this detangles. Oh, my hair's still dripping wet. Oh, okay, 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 now we're talking. See how I can just glide through? Respect. Put some respect on my name. Okay, this is what we're gonna have to do. If you get the conditioner, just condition with it. Let it sit in your hair while you do the rest of your shower and then detangle with this leave-in. All right, that was impressive. Once again, before, knotted, detangler, smooth it in. Okay, now we're rolling. We're rolling, rolling, rolling. I did then apply the Sweet Hibiscus Curl Defining Gel. This has marshmallow root and hibiscus botanicals to define and shape your curls. Ugh, another unpleasant scent. The Sweet Hibiscus Curl Defining Gel it has the consistency similar to like a flaxseed gel where it's kind of gooey. Let's go ahead and apply this. Hair is very juicy right now. So now I'm gonna let this air dry for as long as possible. Then I'm gonna do some diffusing and we'll see how it looks. And I'm back, it's been about an hour. My hair is starting to form a little bit of a cast, which is a good sign. But now I'm going to diffuse and see how that looks. But before I do that, I realized I kind of rushed through the application process because I was kind of in a hurry. But I just want to mention that the leave-in conditioner says that it's going to release knots and tangles, which it did, a conditioning cream, cocktailed with organic rose, coconut, and honey. And then the gel says it's a botanically infused gel for healthy defined curls. It's made with marshmallow root, hibiscus, provitamin B to naturally nourish and hold your curls. Okay, I like my hold. We gonna see. Apply a pea-sized amount. Pea-sized? Are we still saying things like this? Like, can you imagine the size of a pea? Moving on. Let's diffuse. Okay, let's take a look see, shall we? So my curls look nice and shiny. The curl definition isn't insane. Like my curls look good, but as you can see like this, like they're, they're kind of loose instead of like tight ringlets. See that? I still smell it. I was hoping that would go away. Maybe it will in time. But the hold is completely gone, which does happen when you diffuse and or use a leave-in first, so that could be on me. I think I'm gonna try this again tomorrow and refresh with the gel on its own to see how it looks on day two. Let's see if I can kind of fluff it out, get some more volume. I mean, it looks pretty, but my curls aren't as popping 
as I know they could be. So I'm gonna end things here. I'm gonna put my hair up into a pineapple, sleep on a silk pillowcase tonight, and then I will refresh with the gel only without the leave-in. And we'll see how my day two curls look. And we're back for day two for a nice little refresh. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so the hold is completely gone. It's decent. I don't know what's happening over here. This did not do well, <laughs> but let's refresh. Definitely gotta hit that part right there. But now let's go in with the gel once again. Dime size? Even that's more than a pea size. Nah, fam, I can't do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit better job at applying this time. Really getting each section. Not using a dime size, sorry. So that looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna let this dry, then probably diffuse to get more volume. Then we'll come back and see how this gel works on its own. Alrighty, I've let it sit for not too long, maybe like 15 minutes, and it already is starting to form a cast, which is what I like, a fast cast forming gel. So I'm gonna start diffusing right now and see how big we can get this. What is this? That's not cute. That's pretty. My ringlets look way more defined today than they did yesterday. What is up with these? These curls are just being wonky. I might need to hit this with some Olaplex. So let's shake it out for some volume. So when I shake, I do see little like particles. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but. Is it flaking? Hmm, it does look cute though. So I am liking my hair better on day two versus day one. My ringlets look more defined. I do think that this gel also gives me some elongation. I'm not getting too much shrinkage and it's doing a pretty good job at keeping my length. So my hair looks a little longer than it normally does, which is cool, but with the elongation comes a little bit less of a ringlet, but I don't mind it. It's all about the look that you're going for. Let's see what you guys had to say about the gel. I want to love it, but the first time I used the gel, it didn't hold long. It did not work for me. No hold, not enough moisture. Love, the gel mix with the cream so good and it's at Ulta Beauty. I've tried it a couple times, but I get crazy product flakes. Hmm, maybe that's what all those white particles were. Didn't care for the cream shampoo and conditioner, but the curl lotion and gel ain't that bad though. Wanted to love, didn't love. It was just like adding sticky water to my hair. They didn't work for me. I don't know if I got a bad gel, but it smells bad. It makes your hair extremely soft. Didn't work on me, no moisture and hold, and the smell is too strong. It's a good product, but the gel isn't for people who want hold. That's fair. I did not like the clay mask and the gel flaked and they're overpriced. Hmm. So I didn't get too many responses on this one because not many people have tried this line and I understand a lot of you wait for me to give you the stamp of approval before you buy products, but I would have to agree. Not a fan of the smells at all, but the gel did give me some nice results. My curls look defined, but there is no hold and I am someone that likes strong hold. So I would have to keep applying a lot every day to get the kind of hold that I desire. And I don't see it getting me to like day five or six. And honestly, as I just kind of go like this, I see more little particles flying around. I don't know if you can see them on camera, but that could be because I'm using more product than I'm supposed to. Usually when a very natural ingredient product says to just use a little bit, it's because it could flake. So it's like I either use a pea size like you told me to and don't get any hold, or I use a normal amount of gel and then I get these little flakes. What did you guys think of the brand overall? Hate it. It's good, but not my favorite. I use it when I run out of my regular stuff. Did not work for me. Doesn't work on my 3B hair for some reason. 
I've tried it a couple times, but I get crazy product flakes. My favorite brand, obsessed with them. Plus, they're a UK black owned brand. Wanted to love, didn't love. Love it, leaves my hair amazing. Didn't like it. I only used the styling product. It dried out my curls. Curls were defined, but dry. Flora Curl is the best. I love them. Love. Um, no. What a waste of space. Does nothing. The scent is really too strong, but the product worked really well for my curls. Love it. Amazing. A big no. Love it. One of my favorites. Great for moisture and has good hold. <laughs> this just shows you how everybody's hair is different. Opinions are just opinions. The best thing you could do is to just try it for yourself, but we're getting a bunch of mixed reviews right now. So in conclusion, a lot of mixed reviews on these, but let's talk about the pros and the cons. I absolutely love the packaging. That was the first thing that got me because their bottles just look really cute and I'm a sucker for cute packaging. I'm really happy that they are now in Ulta Beauty. I'm glad that they're a black owned brand and I love that they want really, really, really natural ingredients. So natural though that I'm not a fan of the smell, but there's no synthetic fragrances in them. So you kind of get whatever the plant smells like, I understand. And because you're getting such good ingredients, there is gonna be a higher price point. So I don't know if I would wanna spend this much on products that I'm not in love with. For a wash day, the shampoo smells good, smells like fruits, does a decent job at lathering. The conditioner, no slip. Not a fan. When it comes to the leave-in detangler, it has really good slip. I just hate the smell. And the gel does work. It gives me a good day one kind of hair, but you have to apply more and more and more to keep that definition. And the more you add, the better chances you have of seeing flakes, which is not a good thing. So if you're looking to try these products, they are available at Ulta Beauty. And if you've already tried them, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these products. If you want more reviews like this and you want to be included in the conversation, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. You also can follow me on Twitter and TikTok, also at Ms. Bianca Renee. I post new videos every week, so give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hit that little bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.